In today's video, I will be talking with my friend Carla. She is a dentist here in Mexico and will tell us the cost of some of the common procedures. I'll also give you some tips on how to find a good dentist in Mexico. Mexico is a top choice for dental tourism due to the quality of the dental care and affordability. And the proximity to the United States makes it easy for many people to include a vacation in with their dental procedure. My friend Carla is a restorative dentistry specialist and will tell us more. You can get your dental treatment done and actually go on vacation and have really a good time around the beaches, do scuba diving, do snorkeling or seat lines. So you can enjoy both vacation and get your dental treatment done for less than you can pay in the United States well, compared to United States and Canada. For example, for a dental crown, you can pay at, US at least 1,500 USD. And here in Mexico, for example, three to 400. So yeah, it's cheaper. For a personal veneer per tooth, you can pay 1,200 USD and at the United States. And in Mexico, could be in between like 350 or 450 USD. So yeah, so this, it's cheaper. And that's per tooth, right? And that's per tooth. And for example, for the root canal, uh, any tooth, uh, it could be like 1,200 USD at the United States. And here in Mexico, it's around 220 USD. Where's your office? I'm sharing this office with a dental uh, group. Uh, we are in Plaza Genovesa right now. Um, actually, I'm from Mexico City. I do dental tourism there. And that office is uh, in, in the very center of Mexico City. And here is in Plaza Genovesa, close to Las Glorias. How much can I save on dental implants? For example, for a dental implant with the whole crown in the United States will be like probably 3,900 USD. And in Puerto Vallarta, with the, all the things done, maybe probably in between like 1,400 and 1,600. It depends on the procedure, of course, but the savings are like really great. Mm -hmm. When people have implants done, is it usually just one tooth or is it... No, you can have one implant on or maybe you can get like four or you need like probably a full rehabilitation. So yeah, you can save a lot. Even if you are just needed one implant, if you need one implant, you are saving. But if you need the full mad rehabilitation, you can be like saving a lot of money. If you have first-hand experience with the dental system in Mexico, please feel free to share your story in the comments so that others can benefit from your experience. Saving money is great, but I also asked Carla about where she received her education and about the materials that they use here in Mexico. I studied the doctor of dental surgery. I did it on, at UNAM, that is the national university from Mexico. And there, I also did my specialty. The specialty is in advanced restorative dentistry. And also went to Loma Linda, California for having a program in advanced implant dentistry. Do you use the same materials as the USA? Yeah, we use the same materials. Actually, we have like the same procedures done. We use the same brands and the same materials, instruments, and also procedures are like practically are the same. In Mexico, you'll find a wide range in the quality of dental services. Here are some tips to help you find a good dentist and have a good experience. Get an estimate with a local dentist in your home country first. Then you will know specifically what you need and can compare the cost of the procedure to the Mexico dental prices. Your savings will be in the thousands if you need a major procedure. Prices are readily available online for large dental offices catering to dental tourism. And prices are available by phone or email from smaller offices and private practices. If you only speak English, select a Mexican dentist that speaks good English. It's hard to be confident with your Mexican dentist if there's a big language barrier. Many dental tourism dentists build their practice to cater to Americans and Canadians. That means they have English-speaking dentists and staff members. 
Don't assume that your Mexican dentist is qualified to perform all dental procedures just because they are a licensed dentist. Make sure to ask, who is the dentist performing the procedure? What is their training and background? And do they specialize on my procedure? And don't forget to squeeze in a vacation while visiting your dentist in Mexico. If you are looking for a first-hand recommendation, Facebook is a great place to start. There is usually an expat Facebook page as well as a digital nomad Facebook page in every community or town. A great group here is Puerto Vallarta, everything you need or want to know. If you have a question, you can first check and see if it's been asked before. You can go to the magnifying glass and click that, and then type in some keywords. I'll type in dentist and hit enter. And then you'll get a list of people that have asked related questions before. It's a great place to start collecting information. Another good group here worth checking out is Puerto Vallarta Digital Nomads. There aren't as many members here, but it's another great source of information that offers a different perspective from that of the older expats. If you know someone that could benefit from this video, please share it. Sharing our videos will help the channel grow so that we can keep bringing you more videos like this. If you're thinking about moving to Mexico, make sure to watch our Puerto Vallarta playlist and stay tuned for more of our cost of living guides and lifestyle profiles. For more information, please visit www.livingoverseas.tv.